because of this elevator scene, we are pretty much forced to shoot、uh, inside of this elevator. To be creative with that limitation, it was very, very hard. The lighting would change gradually、um, with the characters changing internally. Both elevator lighting start at opposite ends and move towards the other end,、uh, very symbolic of kind of the characters first starting at opposite ends but also coming to meet. Family friend of mine, Eric Kaufman,、uh, lent us some of his gear to use, some of his lights to use.、Um, wasn't a ton, but it definitely was a lot more than we had at the time. We had, you know, just space confinements. We couldn't, I couldn't light from certain angles because、uh, lights would show up in the background of the shot, or it would just, you know, be stuck on an elevator wall, which you can't, you can't really compromise the, the set that way. I think, you know, the coolest thing that we 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 did for lighting the elevator was、uh, when the elevator was crashing, and that's when.、Uh, We had Kiyomi on the floor, and she's like screaming. And then we, we gave a giant light to Nathan, and basically he just spazzed out. And giant beams are flying everywhere, and it looks really, really cool. Most of us were students at the time. We had to film in the summer, and that was not a great combination. And I want to make sure that's not underemphasized. It was hot. It was hot. Outside was like a hundred, like hundred seven degrees, but like twenty of us are like scrunched in an elevator with high-powered professional lights on. It was just, it was hard, but we had to sacrifice. <laughs> Our time in there because we needed the shots. I was acting like you know, and I I guess like some point I got hyperventilated, and then like I couldn't see anything. I was like all black and white, and I kind of fainted. And everybody think I think you know thought like I was still acting, but I was like almost like fainting. I was like, <sighs> Not only that. Eric had animals, so they would go in the garage and pee over the night. So it's like this humid, hot oven of pee and like sad smiles. I had to like walk around after every shot and go smile. And remember, I had to like tell everyone not to smile. And like everyone had to go be like. <laughs> It was like the saddest thing I've ever seen in the whole world.